Fantasy. Fantasy land. Fantasy land. Fantasyland, which is basically a combination of uh, nursery rhymes, fairy tales, wow, a real Greek amphora. amphoras, awesome, and Greek mythology for some reason. Ooh, so we're gonna find the golden fleece. That's why I got the golden shears from the Adventure Land. Yeah, it's thinking ahead. <laughs> and this part is like the Wizard of Oz. This place is great! See? Picked up the uh, golden brick road. Or the yellow brick road. And this is a Sphinx. So tell us a riddle. Sphinxes always have riddles. You have nothing I desire. Perhaps you'd like to answer a teensy tiny little riddle. Yes. Uh, yeah. What is the beginning of eternity? The end of time and the start of every ending? The answer is letter E, obviously, but if you give her a wrong answer, this is what happens. Something happens, right? Come on, game. Game. Oh. I guess you can't give her a wrong answer. So let's give her the E. The start of every ending. Yes, you're just as cool as Oedipus in Harry Potter. <laughs> they use the exact same riddle in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. They actually did. I was surprised when I read Harry Potter and the uh, Goblet of Fire and they had a Sphinx which told that riddle because I already knew it from this game. And because I'm a genius. Except I believe it was the letter B. I knew I should have brought my flashlight. Perhaps I could shed some light on the subject. What? Oh, it's the dragon from The Hobbit. Uh, let's chat it up with the dragon here. Don't know why you want to chat with the dragon, but there you go. Excuse me, great sir. I'm looking for my treasure. No, no, no. Who's Jason? You know, Jason. Jason and the Argonauts. He stole the golden fleece I was guarding. I've been depressed ever since. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's the Jason and the Argonauts dragon. I don't want your treasure. I'm looking for Mr. Hyde. He's kidnapped the page master. Oh no! It's not good. Tell you what. You get my fleece back and I'll help you find Hyde. Hyde was here? You've seen him? Yeah, this. The sword in the stone. Also known as Excalibur. I'll give it to you. For the fleece. Deal. Deal. Can I go to Mount Olympus? Awesome. Alright. 
so that's going to be our main quest in Fantasyland. The quest for the Golden Fleece. Uh, whoops, I didn't want to go back there. No, let's go left from here. No, this is a kind of a mazy maze here. So I've got the directions written out. The yellow brick road maze. And if we go left here, this is a weird scene with like a frog. This might help me get ahead. <laughs> See, if you didn't get the monster head uh, for a Frankenstein, you could use this head instead. Mm, but I didn't. As Jack peeped out of the oven, he saw the hen lay a golden egg. Jack and the Beanstalk. Awesome. And now this is the oddest, this is a very odd cutscene. I don't know what to make of it. It's okay, we're the same. But how could, I'm your future, or is it your past? I always get those mixed up. In the world of imagination, there is no time. Mixed up? Mixed up? This whole thing is crazy. Of course it is. That's what makes it so much fun. Now, be careful with the Phantom Troll booth. <laughs> That's just weird, isn't it? And you never see the Phantom Troll Booth uh, in this game anyway. Troll Booth, I believe, is the book he's referring to. What happens when you go here? Oh, it's Alice in Wonderland. That's a pretty good fantasy book. Okay, and so much for that part of the maze. Let's go left. Uh, take the left fork. Hey, Cinderella. Oh, it's another book. Maybe it's the page masters. Good thinking, Richard. Maybe it's the page masters. I'll pick it up. And here are the princesses. Horrible pun. Let's get a Sleeping Beauty apple. I've never heard of an apple story before. Me neither. But an apple day keeps the doctor away. Ah! I didn't click. Stupid game. I want to read this. First, I shall try to ask him to give us the Golden Fleece. <laughs> I know the story, it's never that easy. <laughs> and that's what happens when you click the Cinderella book, that's all. <laughs> Just hear Cinderella giggling. Yay, Fantasyland! I like Fantasyland, I can't wait to go on the Dumbo ride. That's my favorite part of Fantasyland. Oh wait, wrong Fantasyland, folks! Sorry, Sleeping Beauty and uh, Cinderella confused me. It's, it's a theater. What? What's this clue? It had space for 50 oars and was named the Argo after its builder, Argus, the son of Aristotle. Good to know, I guess. And satyrs, you have to talk to the satyr and move on. But the thing about satyrs is it's a they're kind of tricky things. Say no, because satyrs are known for oh, making thanks. people fall asleep. No. You get points knocked off if you stop to uh, see Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, you know, satyr person. And listen to his music. And what's we'll this here? Flowers? Oh, it's the Alice in Wonderland flowers. Sure. Sing a song. 
singing flowers. 